and ask up. Got a couple of people in with us tonight. I'm going uh, to let them introduce themselves. Candace, you introduce yourself to the public, please. Hello, I'm Candace. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Jay Hugh in the building. Yeah. You know, we, uh, we sitting back. Practicing being healthy amongst yeah. each other. Exactly. We being, on we a being, Friday. We're being smart with it. So that way nobody can get in trouble for, you know, being too close. We're also kind of living up to the name, it's taking part of, of uh, taking part in the stuff. libations. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're getting, getting all ready. So... What's happening, world? How y'all doing? You know, it's a good night. So, Rod, I see you. Chime in. I was like, cuz of Trina watching. What's happening? Yeah. What? Ah, oh, dang it. What happened to my screen? See, I'm trying to. Ah, uh -oh. oh, dang it. Hold on. Yeah, We're still going. I'm trying to get my screen going. You technical know. difficulties. We're going to keep it flowing. So, Ali, I see you. Tuning in. Good looking. You know, just want to know how y'all feeling today on this fine Friday. You know, once again, we, uh, you know, people sheltering in place, Still. going through all that. How how you doing today? I'm, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. That's great. So, Candice, why don't you take a moment to tell the public about yourself and do so. Um, I'm a model for um, Ambitions Ladies, so I'm just the guest on here today. Yeah. So. She's also. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You know, I like having people on when we sit back and talk, talk to talk. You know, it's kind of yeah, confessionals. That's what we do. <laughs> you know, uh, if you have checked out in the house uh, game shows, the in house quarantine game show that Rock James Rockefeller has on uh, Facebook. Oh yeah, for sorry, I forgot you know, to mention that. You know, she's the she's the prize model. You know, with the prizes for the show. That's what be going on. You know, we just having fun tonight. So a couple of things, you know, I've been noticing in the public, you know, news lately. One of the things uh, caught my attention was the uh, football player Earl Thomas. Correct. Yeah. What's going you know, on with that, man? You know, this this is this is interesting. I, I like y'all to chime in, you know, as usual. Uh, Earl Thomas, football player. I believe he used to play for the Seahawks. I don't know if he still do. Right now he played for the Got Busted crew. But no. <laughs> he played for the, he played for the He got Ravens. caught for the Got Cots. <laughs> Air clicks. Air clickers. Rock in the building, too. Air clicks. Air clickers. Air clicks. Boom, boom. So he was out uh, with his brother and a couple of females. And his wife caught up with him where he was at. You know, at an Airbnb, and had a pistol to his head. <laughs> now, because she caught him in bed with with the females. Mm. Now, the reports that I read, uh, she, his wife, uh, he left, went home, left from home, whatever. His brother, they riding out. The wife, being, I guess, I don't know if her spider senses went off, whatever the hell it is. You know, y'all females say y'all be knowing. Intuition. You know, intuition, senses. insecurity. <laughs> I see dead people. Whatever the fuck it was, it, was, it started with an eye. <laughs> <laughs> I blame you. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but she went on his Snapchat or whatever and saw a post that he did. Then she ended up getting his location. So wow. she got a couple of her posse, you know. Her friends and they drove to this place where he was, and she got in there. I don't know if she kicked the door in or whatever. Anyway, she she kicked it in. She, she came like, where she wasn't invited to. <clears throat> so Matisse, uh, so she came there, caught him in the bed with the female, the other female. He's doing his thing, and she uh, put it had a gun and had it to his head. Now, according to the story, she took the clip out mm. and was just trying to scare him. Now, which I think is bullshit, but yeah. it was one in the chamber. And they said the, the females that were there were recording what was going on. So the wife had to, she had the gun to my man's head with her finger on the trigger. And the safety wasn't, wasn't engaged. You know, she, 
I'm, I'm gonna have to go ahead and like be real. Like I, I know I'm playing the devil's advocate or mm -hmm. whatever and whatnot, but it's at, at the end of all of that shit. And she's it's it, for the very few moments or five thirty minutes she feels vindicated. Mm -hmm. you know, that's trauma for both of them. You know, yeah. like that's yeah. a traumatizing thing. Even to hold a person <clears throat> at gunpoint. You know, Dude. like that's not something that you practice every day. Like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a gun to a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's like. At the same time, everybody has a cell phone now. Yeah. You think you can do some shit like that and not get away with it? Like, Dude. you better come with the A-team or the cavalry. If you're going with your girls and <laughs> all you got is one gun and one <laughs> bullet and, nigga, you well, better. <laughs> now, the thing is about that, the one of the wife's girlfriends had a knife. And was wielding it according to the reports they, they, they that I read. Never bring a knife to a gunfight. Never. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> clear my throat. Just be clear on that. <laughs> um, I see. It's so much. So much wrong. What's up, Aaron? Pacer pride. Pacer for life. Uh, it's so much. I, I, actually, before I even go, let, let me get your perspective on it, please. Um, I think they're both wrong. Mm -hmm. She's wrong for. Going in there and acting a fool, and he's wrong for cheating. It could have been like a really different situation. It could have been a bad situation. Um, that that whole thing is just dumb to me. And, and look, I'm let me let me, let me clarify myself. I'm not condoning what old boy is doing. True. You know, not. basically the only reason why the whole scenario happened mm -hmm. is because of. The, Intuition, is, is insecurity. Right. Started with no, I. No, not even. No, no. It ain't even about insecurity. What you doing out here? You know. I mean, again, I say mm -hmm. everybody should always be accountable for your actions. That is yeah. true. And, even that. if you say, "Oh, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Yeah. I didn't. I'm the, I'm the good guy. I'm the victim. I'm not the villain, nigga." As long as you went ahead and you had some involvement, yeah. your mm -hmm. ass needs to be accountable. You have to. You know, have to be accountable. But again, the reaction of others. You 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 know you should never let no one be that much in control of the destiny of your own destiny. Exactly. You, you just shouldn't. It clearly shows too that she has like she's like mentally unstable. Right. Uh, that part. For like, real. <laughs> that that's part. just crazy. That. <laughs> right. Well, last thanks for tuning in. So now, I, I, like Tweaking me being once again like just like you said, Jay. I, I ain't condoning what dude was doing and none of that, you know. I, I, I like you said, I, I see both sides of the shit and I'm like, foul, 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 foul. For her to have a gun on him and to, it was a bull in the chamber and they said she didn't know. Now she got arrested, rightfully so, you know, because you you wilding. If she would have just think if, because he took the gun from her. Mm. Now, if she, what if she would have flinched, or th Pop she off. thinking, she thinking, ain't nothing. I took the clip out and just Clap popped it. That that make me think about the situation with Eric McNair back in the day. Remember his his side piece killed him and herself. Now, once again, I ain't condoning nothing these cats did. I, you know, I don't want nobody, you know, saying, oh, this motherfucker condoning cheating. Nah, I don't do that. Black men don't cheat. Keyword men. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I mean, he he won. He he's stupid. Both of them stupid. But yeah, yeah. And she, right. a, no, she a fool. That's a, that's a tag team. Yeah. It's, a, it's <laughs> double dumb, dumb and dumber. Yeah. Right. It's not a it's dumb and dumber. The, the Negro edition. <laughs> Two stupid dogs. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Itchy and scratchy. You know how about Ren and Stampy. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, and 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 and, 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 and here's the thing though. <laughs> They gonna stay together. Watch. Right, right. You know, and they're, everybody else well, probably have, chiming in. But they have three kids together. They too. gonna stay together. Yeah. That's that love. That's, That's not the power love. of the yeah. crazy love. They call it crazy love. Yeah, you know. they, they gonna stay together. They gonna be like, I cheat, you cheat, I cheat, you it's cheat. It's a thin line. Just don't let me see you cheat. <laughs> <laughs> they right. lie between love but, and hate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But think about it. I think it's a lot of irreparable de not irreparable damage from this situation because your chick just pulled a fucking gun on you. Well, it makes me wonder too if he's done it before. Exactly, it's always questions. And and now here goes something funny. 
I mean, it's it's funny, but it's not funny right. in the situation. He tweeted uh, or tweeted or posted on social media. Uh, I don't want to have any. Uh, don't ask questions about what happened with my wife and my brother. And another NFL player was like, "Nigga, the fuck, nigga, we got questions." <laughs> that shit's see, funny. See, 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 see. Now, now, now. Let me. Can I give you all a small, a, a small example? Just yesterday, mm-hmm. yesterday evening, in fact, uh, a chick went on Facebook and said something into the equation of about not being valued mm. and um, kind of being tired of it. And I said to myself, kind of you know, yourself. I'm kind of a, I've learned I'm a victim blamer. If you tell me you're tired of not being valued, my question is, what the hell are you, you doing to not to be valued? Be valued? I, I get that. You yeah. know, like if you're tired of it, Mm-hmm. That means you haven't been valued more than once. That means you're either doing the same shit, or you're, you, you need know, to reevaluate. You just fucked up at you, yeah. You got a fucked up evaluation <laughs> of being valued. And there's so much red flags that you see. Exactly. And but you you're the yourself. red flag, and you're like, oh no, you know I'm, you know I got a halo over my head. You know I'm, I'm walking with the angels. You know <laughs> I, I, I pretty much I'm one step away from walking on water. And it's like, come on now, you know. Uh, but in any event. So <clears throat> I went ahead and I commented on the post, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and I said to the, I said to the person, you know, uh, what is what are you doing to you know what what are you what are, yeah what are you doing to not be valued? Yeah, and it Good. it was a whole another different answer, and I said, well, it didn't answer the question I asked you, well, you mm-hmm. know, and, and then she said it ain't meant for you to understand. That then why say it? So Some my the next so so I just said to her I said well you know honestly I'm just trying to understand yeah. but it's all good. The next post that she posted and then deleted me and I didn't even get a chance oh, to look at man. the post like why you would you comment? You got the boot. <laughs> yeah, I got booted. I I got you know she told me to kick rocks. Fuck it. You're not telling me to really kick them. Thank you. Know. <laughs> but I'm yeah. just like why would you even comment then delete me? Motherfucker, just delete me. I mean, like Fair. you're commenting because you're a complaining ass motherfucker. <laughs> and you know, I you know, I hope that you know. Again, I get it. We all need to vent. We need to put shit out there. Mm-hmm. You know, but in the same verse, don't do the shit on social media. You know, oh, you God. got old boy right now being held at gunpoint. Bye. You know, and a homie. Bye. You know, Bye. Cha-cha, you know with, with Hitsu, knives and whatnot. You know, and it's like you thought you wasn't gonna be viewed. They, you know, they, and, you and got, we gotta be a little more smarter with this. You social gotta media be shit. smarter. You gotta be accountable. And I mean, here's the thing: from the story I read, he posted a post on his Snapchat. His wife seen it and got the location through his Snapchat. Now, whether she's fucking Inspector Gadget or whoever the hell, once again, it starts with an eye. She's either intelligent, insecure, or ignorant. Or, or One an of the inspector. Three. Yeah. <laughs> it starts with an eye. <laughs> but I'm just saying, for her to go to those lengths and, and, and intuition, whatever it is, I, 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 it starts with an eye. That's all I know. She wanted a foe. She, oh, she wanted to investigate the shit. Yeah, with an eye. She go, she go and find him. Now, here's the thing, and and I like I said, I ain't condoning shit the man did or nothing. That's no way my my position. I'm just being devil's advocate in this conversation. Do you love yourself? Does she? Because after this, now you didn't you you all on the news, you got arrested, which means you your family, your friends, the whole world yeah, everybody. Yeah. knows <laughs> you pulling gaps on cats. <laughs> <laughs> you body body. She should be in Body Body Part that. 3, coming to VHS soon. Yeah, you raised your whole world uh, 411. Yeah. And now you got to go through that. Now, y'all probably going to stay together or whatever. What's up, Samara? Thank you for tuning in. You know, I mean, now you got everybody going to be in your business. Mm-hmm. You know. Asking questions. You, got, you had your friends go with you. They probably hyped you up yeah, with the situation. Yeah. And that's where you got to have some emotional intelligence about yourself. She said, he said. You know, oh, girl, don't yes, take that. You know, I don't know what they said, but I'm just, you know, I'm just picking shit out the air. Somebody said, why y'all ain't got the sister a mask? 
<laughs> I knew somebody was gonna ask that. Yeah, yeah. You got, you knew, you her mask is in the car. Her mask is in the car. I don't know why. You know, but you bringing outside influences into Should this I go situation. Get it? You good? Unless you, you want to get it. We're masked up. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go get it. Okay. I'll be right back. She'll be right back, and we will continue. So right after these messages. I mean, you got outside influences. You know, egging you on, whatever. So now you didn't add it. Not only your situation is supposed to be between you and your husband. You know, you didn't. Now you didn't added your friends. I don't know how many of them was it total, but you well, added them. A lot of friends. Now you added on when you caught him at with his brother and how many other females. That's a minimum of three more people. <laughs> right. You know, maybe even four. The Who flock, knows how many chicks he had there? What's up, Carolyn? Now and then. You get arrested, so you got the police department. Now it's on social media, so now you got the whole, the possibility of every person in the world that has internet access to be all in your business. Right, right. And I just, like, I do, I love make you do crazy shit. I get it, but I'm sorry. I can't do that, you, you know? You know, I, I'm going to say this, and for anybody that, uh, anybody that says that they love another person. Mm-hmm. The realest thing I can tell you, and I, I know I'm sure someone's going to get mad at me for saying this. They'll be like, oh, you full of shit. But, nigga, if you don't love yourself, you can't love another person. You can't. That is true. It, it's called blind love. It's called being naive or gullible or, you know, not really truly understanding what love is. If you say you love somebody and you don't love yourself, motherfucker, that means you can't damn near even look in the mirror. And be happy with the motherfucker staring back at you. Right. You know, I mean, hell, you got to go ahead and accept your imperfections and realize they come with theirs, too. Exactly. You know, and I mean, if you be that naive and not be able to love yourself, well, yeah, shit, nigga, you, you, in, you in for a hell of a ride. Yeah. You in for an uphill, uphill roll. You know, that shit, you know, is it, real. And I mean, you know, of course, people go through lives you know, maybe not loving themselves, but in the same verse, as long as you can be comfortable with you, mm -hmm. you can definitely learn another person, be comfortable with another person, or, yeah. you know, go ahead and be able to spend your life with somebody and, and enjoy that moment. I get that. Yeah. You know, uh, you holding guns to a motherfucker. I don't know about all that. Though. Now, now you didn't put yourself in that man's <laughs> system. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You I know what I'm saying? pop off. Because here's the thing. Once again, I'm just going to play devil's advocate, as I am. Now, like Samara said, uh, start saving every penny he give you. Gather all the evidence you need to divorce his ass and clean him out. There you go. That is the typical female response. Hey, shit. I ain't saying it's right or wrong, but that is the typical female response. To, oh, you did this and that? And then if she was going to do that, that would have been, hey, it would have been what it been. But she did the fool because she thought she was on Hyphy Hose 2000 and had the gun. So Hi now Rose. she ain't got nothing <laughs> coming. Because once again, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Your what ass if, has been recorded. <laughs> yeah, you on record. You on record. You on video putting the gun to me. Now I can be like, you know something, man? It ain't been working shit. out. You know, she didn't crash on me before, so I needed to reach out. Huh. I, needed to, I needed to, you know, a release, Lord. and that's what happened. See, and she fought, she came and kicked in the door, wave in the full four. <laughs> See, you ain't going to fuck my no man no more. I need a restraining <laughs> order. We always love Big Mama. <laughs> she came through. Now he don't want to scream in one more chance. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Can I live one more time? One more time. You know, what's up, Don? Tuning in. Thank you. Appreciate it. Man, but, I mean, hilarious, man. you look at this shit and it's like, wow. I mean, there's so many wrongs on so many levels. Mm -hmm. So many. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, we probably going to laugh at it, joke about right, shit. Of course. But this situation could have went way left. Oh, uh -huh. That's what I said in the beginning. Yeah, it could have went way Spoilers. left. You know, and the coldest part is, and, I, and it's, it's some, some shit we're going to touch on later tonight. Yeah. You know, if it's black people 
and the police come out, somebody's going with that motherfucker. <laughs> now, it, 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 might be her, it may not be him, but, but they're not gonna leave it empty handed. No. If it was two white motherfuckers, white chicks, white dude, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. then they may have a chance. But if it's hey, us, Arthur, somebody's coming. Just go with us. back in there and you leave <laughs> right. Bethany alone. You, get your ass. you, you guys know. chill out. Matter of fact, you guys open a new six pack and 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 drink it up and leave it <laughs> Let alone. Let me see we, your ID. I'm gonna turn around. I need to, I need to verify back. that you're you're a citizen. And why are you here? You 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 <laughs> have, what are you doing here? sir. You what? have a lawful right to stay in your house, even though your wife's angry. Sir, how how dare you be jogging in the neighborhood? Oh man, and, we and, and with no ID. Right. Hey, that's such uh, a bitch. That one. And happy what birthday to that brother. Happy heavenly birthday to that brother. That's I, that's yeah, in heaven, man. You know, that's something. just you know, it's terrible. It's, it's terrible. It uh, is. We gonna keep it flowing. We might as well yeah. go. Actually, hold on. Anybody else want to chime in on the uh, Earl Thomas thing? Y'all y'all watching? Y'all got some opinions, comments? You know, y'all always welcome to chime in. Sharon we is caring, man. Yeah, Sharon is caring. You know, Samara didn't, didn't drop her happy spirit. Friday, beautiful Friday in the town. And it's warm. Nice weather. Nice weather, yeah. But it can't I think, go nowhere. I think You're like, right, Samara. Sisters need to love themselves more. You do. Everybody needs to love themselves more. Absolutely. If you love yourself enough, nobody's opinion of you will matter. And, and, and it's, it's, it's it a scientific matter. fact. You know? I ain't saying you got to be conceited about it, but you love yourself enough to where nobody's opinion matters. My only competition is in the mirror. That's right. Exactly. And yourself. That's it. I love me. Do you love you? I posted that shit earlier today, too. <laughs> hey, man, it's real important, man. I mean, no. You know, especially during these times right now. Oh, man. You're going through some crazy, crazy Everybody times. Everybody on quarantine. So, once again, this is a joke. I can see why the motherfucker was out. He probably was stuck in his house with a crazy ass but all the fucking gonna, time and needed a vent. I was going to say that. How do you get like caught cheating during quarantine? Ah, wherever the fuck they like, was everybody at. Everybody is like, hey. Hey. hey, me and my brother going to move some boxes. We're going to go move some boxes. they like, hey, we finna go shoot pool. She like, motherfucker, the pool hall is closed. Oh, so motherfucker, where you going? Listen, I'm going to quarantine we're going to, with my We're going to go get beer. Moment. We, we, uh, uh, Auntie Cheryl need us to move the piano. She asked if we could quarantine for an hour. So <laughs> we, if we can quarantine for two hours, then she's going back home. So we need I'll to be, be back. There. And don't, don't GPS me. <laughs> and leave my social media okay. alone. <laughs> For real though, I'm saying you, I, you in the quarantine, you in the shelter in place. Exactly. And you had an Airbnb. What's happening, Ronnie? Tuning in. See you next week on the show. Hey man, it's it's, it's some right. whole shit going on right now. That shit funny though. I'm sorry. That shit funny though. Mm -hmm. You you in a fucking shelter in place and you can go rent an Airbnb or whatever with your brother and some and some chicks, and your wife hey. ping you. Boy, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Everybody is dealing with the other motherfuckers' extremities. I uh, mean, you know, bathroom runs, you know, uh, flagellation, <laughs> you know, everything that that motherfucker said. Ooh, I can't wait for that motherfucker to leave the house so I can uh, I can do my do or you know that motherfucker can get out my face. Uh, you know, everybody's in each other's face, breath on breath. <laughs> motherfuckers are sitting at home. <laughs> I'm picking my toenails, leave me alone. Sitting at home me, next to a motherfucker that get on your nerves. You know, <laughs> nigga, give me my, my, my video game Motherfucker, time. blink one more time. I'm still getting a check, <laughs> nigga. Just let me live. Shit. I'm paying rent. I did not <laughs> plan to play rent. Let me live. No. Nope. Hell no, nah, nigga. Motherfuckers going half on misery. Under this roof together, we going to love each other even with hate. This is also the time to see if your girl or your wife could cook. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, see, I, I'm lucky. Shame. My wife can cook. I can Too cook. Shame. I was, uh, you know, some of them. Or clean. And, 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 yeah. and she's resourceful enough if she can't cook. Speaking of <laughs> cooking and cleaning. Because the nigga got to eat. They got to eat. <sighs> yeah, know. Kev, we got her a mask. <laughs> mask on. It's on, and it's pink. Yeah. So, back to the, yeah, this quarantine, everybody in. And, and, that's, and that's the cold piece. Because you got that dynamic of... Uh, and this is just my personal opinion, you know, I don't think that you're meant to, and I'm not saying, I mean, be stuck to somebody for 24 hours a day. <sighs> I don't, I don't believe that. Is that one more year? I don't believe that we're to be stuck to somebody for 24 hours, mm. 48 hours. Stuck in the elevator You somewhere. need a fucking break. 
you know. Well, you know, not saying that you you don't like the person, you don't love the person, you don't. I get all that, you like, know. But you, you if need. You think about it, back in the day, our parents didn't have cell phones. Nigga. Nah, there was no internet. Earl, you, where you, you going? You got your left. When you Girl, I'm going work, over to to to, to, to the Willie Jenkins house. I'll be back. Wait, it's gonna take me an going, hour. We're going and to go to shoot to pool. It's gonna take me. An I'll be and back when I work. get back, woman. It's gonna take me two hours to get home. Leave my and dinner that's on the my stove. Everyday routine. <laughs> Leave so my dinner I on love the you. stove. I miss you, but I can't tell you. I see you I when I get home. home. I'll be home for supper. Please have supper ready when I get there. And I'm going to have a check in your hand. And you better get the big piece of chicken. You know, <laughs> it's just, that's, that was what was going on. Now, nigga, leave the door, and I get, yeah. I miss you, bitch. I just left. <laughs> I just walked I'm out down the, the street. Door. How you feeling? Like, like, leave me alone. Man, you, you let me miss, miss you. don't miss me like that, blood. I love you, though. I love you. I love yeah, you. Men let think me like you. that? Come on, huh? Oh, men think like that? I, I mean, just left? No, no, but look, look. It's look. There's a, it's a, it, the honeymoon a, a phase. Perspective on phase. Things. There's a perspective and on things. And just think, I mean, I know there's women that probably feel they can relate to something. They be like, you know, so this motherfucker all up. Oh, you I say mean? that. I say that. I mean, because you naturally. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying if if it works for you, hey, it works for you. I don't care what you eat. Don't make me shit. And unless you pay my bills, it don't make me no money. But. I just think Girl, that, I love you, but I got to go ahead and go to work. I got I I to concentrate on this road right now. Yeah, I kill a dead know? snake for you. <laughs> but <laughs> right. I, I, I just, I might need a couple hours of the day to just, not saying Breathe. to go do some shit like Earl Breathe. Thomas. No, 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 no. No, no, no we're not saying that. Just I just need some space. Me time. Yeah. Space. To breathe. Some air. Let my I'm, hair I'm down. I'm telling you, Adam and Eve had no... To tel- fart. No, no, fo- no phones. They, they yeah, was even butt naked at one moment. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, they, they was bucking naked. You know, they was well, doing extremities to the, to the extreme. Yeah, Adam and Eve was you the know, only white people they, around a bunch they, of Africans. They, they could knock some rocks together and hopefully a nigga hear something, start a fire and, you know, leave some smoke signals. But nigga, other than that, nigga, I see you when I get home. I I'll see you when I get home. Man, make fire. <laughs> Warm up. Shut up. <laughs> Me bring food. You cook food. Cook food. If you Shut can up. cook. If you can cook. <laughs> Don't burn it. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, girl, I went yeah. cut the fish, clean the fish. Would you want me to cook the fish, too? No. <laughs> All the above. Maybe so. I mean, the shit funny. I'm sorry. Shit funny. Yeah, I laugh. Funny. You don't laugh. Oh, well. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's real in the field. This, this quarantine, stay in play, <clears throat> shelter in place, all in your face. Sorry. You got, and, and the cold part about it, I've been reading some statistics. Um, Domestic violence has been up. They're saying child abuse has been up. Oh, well, them kids getting out, they not in school to get out of their parents. Yeah, they're not in school. And now, really now, now, now that ain't your fucking teacher fault. Now, now, like, my, my, my little, little Jimmy would never do that. My son please. is the sunshine of, the epitome of sunshine. No, your little demon seed be in class demon fucking up. Demon seed. <laughs> like, this child. Little is motherfucker from, be in the back chewing crayons and shitting yeah. erasers. Yeah. Talking about this child really is from Satan. God damn. And this is my child. Y'all at home mad. I done bored this motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all at home mad than a motherfucker like this motherfucker. But you know what though? Not this, my baby. I, I think this is this is a you know. In in China they said that in China they they, 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 they was locked they down two. for four months. Yeah, they were. I mean, like locked down uh-huh. for four months. Like we're right. in California. We got the best weather. Uh-huh. We have you know uh, we we ain't got no dirt roads. Every road is paved. Got freeways out the ass, mm-hmm. you know, grocery stores, all these things above. True. Could you imagine being told if you leave your home, you're gonna get the business? You know, some people right. are fine. Yeah. Right, right. So with that being said, it's like we have to go ahead and take advantage of such a situation. You know, get close with your family. Yeah. Learn who the fuck you are around. You know, if you uh, don't love a motherfucker, then, then, then figure it out this time right now. Yes. Figure it right yes. now. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. And, you know, I thought I thought I, I thought I was thinking with my heart. I was thinking with something else. <laughs> you know, I was thinking with something else, shit. Yeah. You know, but now I know. And either we can move uh, forward together or we can we can 
you know, go our separate yes, ways, but, you know, use this time right now as wisely as you can. Because, shit, if you don't, you know, shame on you, shit. I think All that's right. a good thing to know. Like uh, Kev said, vitamin D from the sun that only helps if you get in the sun. Exactly. You need to be out getting in the sun. <laughs> That's, that's Shout out, uh, what's up, Cat? Tuning in, Mike Chambers. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, let's see who else has something to say. Hold on, I'm trying to read these comments. You know, it's, I try to keep it interactive. It's staying in the house. Yes, <laughs> Kev, Kev says either. staying in the house cause more issues than it help. Exactly, because now you stuck. I'm hip joined to your ass, and I can't. I'm essential, so I'll be at work. Kev but I'm just saying. Only Caucasians live in caves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, nice. uh, let's say. Uh, it's also hard for single people at home by themselves. Loneliness and horniness kicks in. <laughs> that is true. Oh, it's Cinemax true. after dark and toys. I mean, I, would you say that? Cinemax after dark. That should come on, right? Still, don't Cinemax toys. after dark. I think so. Yeah. Skinamax. Yeah, Cinemax at the dark. What's up, Tamika? What's up, Juanita? Tuning in. <laughs> Hey, yeah. exactly, Kev, Adam, and Eve, the construct of the pilgrims. Exactly. That's where they started. <laughs> they, a lot of people ain't ready for that conversation. No, no, they all, they you know, I'm, I got, that. you know, I go there. <laughs> 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 yeah. What is it? Uh, Rock said, get your hands out of my, don't nobody watch no damn Cinemax. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just saying, I don't know. Stars? Shit. It's all uh, yeah, you know TMC. What? I mean, you know the shit come uh, on late uh, night uh, cable, uh, and they don't show penetration. That shit come on <laughs> with the man, the safe music. I want Let man. me tell you something. Anyway, y'all know Thank what the fuck God I'm talking about. Act like y'all don't know. And cell phones. Y'all be flipping the channels. And iPads and fucking <laughs> laptops. Wi-Fi. Yeah. You know, Hotspots. Man, boy, internet get take you any and everywhere you can see wherever you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. That's a porn hub. Exactly. You got click. everything's just a touch away. Like Freddie <laughs> Jackson said, quack, quack, just quack. a touch away, away. <laughs> it's real in the field. For real. <coughs> no, that shit is oh. funny. Sorry. That was a Clearly down the wrong pipe. No, that was down the wrong pipe call. Oh. Okay, okay. You know, I, I thought I was going to get up and walk out the room. I had the little tequila bit still in. No, I had the tequila still in oh, the, hmm. on the side. So, what y'all, what, what, America? My uh, Bernie Mac tone. What y'all doing during this uh, shelter in place quarantine stuff? How, how you keeping yourself occupied? And I go to work, and then I come in. Uh, oh yeah, Ronnie, we keeping it real. We keep it real every day. Hey, hey speaking of work right now, man, I heard that Nordstrom yeah. over at, at Nor Nordstrom at Stone Ridge is getting closed down permanently. Yeah. Oh damn! I heard. Yeah, right. But permanently. They're expensive That's anyway. They, hmm? Nordstrom is expensive anyway. Right, but I'm I saying though, like. Nordstrom's about to go. You know, uh, <laughs> their cash cow out there. You know, AMC movies, they're closing permanently. Oh, uh, no, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, wow. like, this. Uh, exactly. I've that's, never that's seen explained. such a result from an epidemic in my life. You know, um, there was a moment, you know, I have pictures from my family. My uncle had polio. Mm -hmm. And so since, they, since my uncle had polio, my my family's house had to be quarantined mm -hmm. themselves, and this was back in the seventies, mm -hmm. you know. And now, come to two thousand and twenties, you know, we gotta be distant, you know, social distancing at the grocery store. You know, I only we can only let so many people in at one time. Uh, stores are closing down and not being able to recover. Yeah, it's 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 kind of scary. It is scary. You know, Definitely. how many how many Johns? I think they said it's it's in the millions. It's in like the double digit millions right now of unemployment right now. Yeah. On top of, uh, Deshaun, you said you was talking about the numbers of the, of the of the death count. Oh, what was that? Because they giving you the now initially when this was going started whatever. Only numbers you saw was the infected and deaths. Okay. They never showed you the number of people who recovered. Right. Now it's it's uh I like your glove. Yeah. <laughs> glove. No man. You get you all on it. But they never talked about the number of people recovered to where they do it now. You see it on the news, right, a little right, sun, right, whatnot, right, right. because you got to people got to have hope, something to see, some type of light at the end of the tunnel. Right. So if you see that, it's 
I'm just using random numbers. I'm not the fucking science expert or the medical person. Uh, you got a thousand people infected. Two thousand people total, which is half your people. Right. You got a hundred, two hundred deaths, but then you got. 800 that recovered out of that thousand. Oh, they don't post that though. Exactly. Because no, no, you got semblance of hope that you know something, it's not a death sentence. Right. They don't do that though. Scoob, what's happening, baby? Oh, yeah. Ron, that was Ron. Yeah, Rock in the building. You know, he coming through, getting him a, a taste and, and sliding out like he do secret squirrel ass. <laughs> 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 but, uh,. This shit's crazy, you it know. Is. I mean, you got uh <laughs> Kev said to Rock stop trying to sneak just to the bottle in a wave. <laughs> <laughs> uh you know, this shit is crazy. Then you got the fucking murder hornets. Uh oh god. <laughs> You know, murder dubs, that's me all day. But yeah, you got the murder hornets, and no, we didn't create them in the dubs. You know, we didn't, that's not a, that's not a product of the, of the Twomps. We did not have nothing to do with those. None you know, from the town at all. Yeah, they're not. They're not know? from the town. And I've, I've seen these hornets <clears throat> some years ago. You know, they in Asia, Japan. Like now, the coronavirus. Exactly. Over Originated there, from? From the east. <clears throat> so. I'm saying, like, they taking two for two. You got, and how they got here, I can go on and on into my thought process on it, but, uh, you know, they, they come through and slaughter honeybees. Mm. Now, and if you pay attention to agriculture, food sources, the main pollination of plants happens through bees. Now, you kill off the bees... You have now killed off your food supply. Mm -hmm. At least your natural food That's supply. Right, yeah. You can have all the artificial food you want. But the earth food, the healthy stuff, will be at a very minimum. And it'll be even more expensive. Also, you got all these Wi-Fi's and different telecommunication, telecommunication satellites and whatnot that also throws off and eliminates bees. Mm -hmm. So my thought process is, once again, this is just the opinion of Deshaun, so don't be trying to, you know, this is my fucking opinion. My I'm show. judging, nigga. I'm judging. Yeah, you judging me all the fuck you want. You ain't got no gavel. <laughs> <laughs> but, Tuck, bitch. you know, now all of a sudden we got the murder hornets coming. You know, they're in Washington State. Now they over here, and they, they're, they're prime enemies. They go and kill bees. But if you already got bees dying because of technology, how do you cover up that the technology that they putting up is bad? Murder hornets. Mm. That might probably went over some of y'all head. Y'all get that at four in the morning. Snell, what's happening, Cuzzo? Yeah, you know, y'all get that at three in the morning. But I mean, it's just a trip because 2020 has been yeah, the most the this fucking 2020. Has been hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, again, I've never, I've you know been living in the Bay Area, and the coldest part is you know with all the, the shit that's going on. Like, I've never had to live through an epidemic like this. But in the yeah. same verse, with the other stuff we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. what's going on with the cops and oh. killing black people and everything? The shit like, that's been going on forever. Oakland has forever. such Oakland has such a a reputation or such a um, people. You know, that aren't from Oakland or don't come to Oakland, don't really know about Oakland. They they look at it, look at us in a, in a different light. Mm -hmm. But I love living in Oakland because I'm sorry, but I don't city like hear Oakland. about our OPD coming at my brothers and sisters the way they coming at other you know in other states. Right. This well, is this is like so. really they used scary to. right now. They you used know. to. It's not as it's not as uh, profound as it used to be in other places. You know. But I mean, police all over need to be checked. No, they they do. But I'm I'm just saying, like, it's it's one thing when when you really are walking out of your house in fear. Oh yeah, true. And we're that. not. We're we're really not. I mean, like, uh, again, we 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 take advantage out here. We really take advantage. We call barbecue Becky. Even made a motherfucking day of it and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm not mad at it. 
Really not. Because we need and deserve all the all the props that we get. Mm. We deserve them. Mm -hmm. True. But in the same verse, you have to think, what if you couldn't even, you know, like express what's going on? You couldn't go ahead and you have to do it on, on a suppressed level. Yeah. Like China level and, whatnot, and North you know. Korea. So, you know, I, I, I truly appreciate being out here. I, I you know, I just, we, we got to think about things from a different perspective. Definitely. And uh, speaking of perspectives and being, walking outside in fear, one of the things, and I posted about this, and hopefully y'all watch it. If you haven't, please do tune in. It's a five-part series that was on HBO. Uh, the Atlanta children lost and missing children about the mm. Atlanta child murders back in the 80s. Keep hearing about that. I've never heard about it. It's a five-part series. And just a quick summary. Uh, in the 80s, uh, you had 20... Was, I want to say almost 30 uh, black children who were abducted and murdered, bodies found, unsolved in the 80s, early 80s in Atlanta. This at the time when Atlanta had a black mayor, mm. you had a black chief of police, and this is the the 80s, so the South, the KKK, all of them, they still, they mm. just big as they are today. More in your face back then. So <laughs> what ended up happening is, uh, what happened was you had a brother, a black man, who got labeled a suspect. Of course. And he got charged with the murder of two adults mm -hmm. through fiber evidence. And they linked 10 of the 28 to 30 children murders to his case. No direct link, but they were saying, you know something? People have been dying he did these two. We think he did these two by this fiber evidence. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna say this is all you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he went to trial. I mean, y'all watched it. If if you you know, I, I remember this when I was a kid when it was happening for real. I was terrified out here. Like man, this eighty one. So mm -hmm. I was seven. Oh wow. You know. You know, um, since but watch, watch this series. It's a five part series. They go into the evidence, the details of so much stuff. And you got, I mean, it's one point where you got witnesses. How you a witness for the prosecution <coughs> and you under a fake name? That's perjury. That's a oh, jail good. time. Off the gooch. They, they, and, and the cold part about it, there was speculation that this was clan involvement back in the day. Hmm. Even as a kid, I remember hearing about it. Like, it got to be the Klan doing it. Yeah. But Atlanta was growing at the time, you know. Mm. And so it was going to be the hub, the mecca, whatever big business coming. You had Coca-Cola down there, the biggest airport in the world at the time. So all this was going on. But you had a black mayor, a black chief of police, and you got all these black babies. Coming up missing. Coming up missing. No answers. So he got, you know... A suspect got accused, got arrested. After that, people start kids stopped disappearing. Hmm. They hmm. they they wow. got him as a suspect, convicted. He got multiple life sentences, and they closed all the other cases. Now, like I said, it was like 30, 30 cases. They charged him with two adults, mm -hmm. linked ten of the kids to him. Wow. So now thirty, you got ten. Yeah. What about the other 20? Y'all yeah. need to watch that series, though. I, it, it, man. Is it on Netflix? Hey, look. No, it's not Netflix. It's actually on HBO. Mm. Hey, you know what? Since you're talking about yeah. what's on TV or TV yeah. shows, movies right now, yeah. all day and a night. I haven't watched that yet. I've been meaning yeah, to watch that. Seen that. Okay, so it's based out of Oakland. Mm -hmm. It's based out of Oakland. It's on Netflix right now. Um, a lot of people are watching it. A lot of different reviews. What I'll say is this. I love the fact that, you know, Oakland, Oakland and the Bay Area, so many movies are filmed in San Francisco, but, yeah. you know, we've got a lot of movies that are done right here in our in our backyard. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we, we need to support them as much as we can. With that being said, the movie itself, eh, 
But, you know, hey, mm -hmm. you go ahead and make the motherfucking decision for yourself. You go ahead and watch it. I hope you enjoy it. Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. But all I'm saying is, you know, um, being the fact y'all can't watch it, I can't really fucking talk about it to y'all, motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't watching it yet. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm going to watch it this weekend. Now, and, you know, we can't even spoil it for the fucking viewers. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to watch up. it this weekend. <laughs> but, no, nah, man. Oh, Rock said they did auditions for that movie here. Oh, I mean, wow. well, they they would have to because it was filmed in no Oakland. Plan. Yeah, they did the auditions for it here. At this thanks, for, hey, thank y'all. Thank, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's dope. Yeah, but uh, the movie itself, the movie is all right, man. You know, I have to um, check it out. Of course, I'll, I'll always want to support you know black actors. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the fact that the main character is not from the states; it's from oh. out of state. You know, he's um, European, I believe, oh, from, or something. He's from and, London. And I keep, man, yeah. they pulling up so they, many pictures, old you got boy. Dude from Snowfall. <laughs> oh my is from um, London. Really? Yeah, dude, the, the main character, yeah. Franklin on Snowfall. Franklin, he's London. Yeah, he, he got he a got British accent. accent. No, hold on. Wow. Yeah. You know, I, hey, man, you know what? Listen, to him. I, 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 know, I know right now it's a lot of, um, you know, local, or not even say local, but, you know, uh, native black actors that are probably. You know, throwing some shade on this, but it's like you know what, hey man, if, if they can live, if we can live, they can live. Exactly. Everybody you know, I mean, live. everybody gotta live, man. And you know, if everybody if they hustle is harder than yours, juice. then get harder on your hustle. hustle. If their hustle is harder than yours, then get harder on your hustle. Because again, at the end of the day, hate to hate, don't play, don't hate the player, hate the game. I can't nobody just support and just be quiet. I support exactly. you all. I mean, really, though. Support why don't you, why don't you love the player and love the game? I want to see you all Shit. flourish. See you know, and we all got to live. Especially if they're African-American. Let's all, let's, let's all I, rise. I, I always want us all to win. I mean, like, got, that is my motto. Really want to know. That's been my motto since last year. I want us all to win. Yeah. Because essentially, at the end of the day, if you win... And Everybody I can good. go ahead and be inspired by you. Mm -hmm. Let it be. Yeah. Plus plus. Let it be. Plus plus. You know, it, it, that's a win win. It's not a lose because you're coming up, and 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 I'm, you know, um, inspired by you to come up because of your story. That's that, that's 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 bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if it, the best thing you could do if you want to get your real blessings, yeah. support that person. Yeah. yeah. Let that person know, hey man. If nothing else, you got my my prayers and my feelings. Yeah. You may not have my dollars. You may not have my physical, or my or or my financial, but but you have you know you have my my mental, you yeah. know, or my emotional. I pray that you go higher and higher, and then teach me. Yeah. Teach me. Don't don't give it to me. Teach me how to rock with you. Mm, teach me you how know. to fish. Hey, 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 teach me how to fish. Well, I'm the best. Yeah, I mean that that'd be great if people would uh, get watch, into watch that. this series, oh, a five part that. series they... <laughs> instead of doing that old crab in the barrel. Yeah, yeah. and the thing about Most it definitely. is, it's like they say, think outside the box. Fuck the box. Yeah. Who who made the box? Yeah, you yeah, build a think, new box. Think outside the box. Come back and build destroy a new the box. box. Not even a box. Just when the sky ain't the limit. Uh, Whoever told right. you the sky right. the limit? Yeah. Yeah, it don't have to be in a box at all. Yeah. Bust the, the box, box open. Right. Glass half empty, half full. Fuck that. There's another glass. <laughs> you know, but I mean, it, it all, it, it all, you know, it, 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 you got to be taught to be resourceful and, Listen. and and think outside, you know, what you was trained. and I learned what you've been taught. Yeah. Don't be scared. Course, People right. scared to go down the rabbit hole. That's the thing. Because motherfuckers, people too comfortable and in their comfort. And mm. negative. But you never get anywhere by being in your comfort zone. You're never going to see what God has for you right. if you're in where exactly. you're comfortable. And, you know, Stag stagnant water is only good for mosquitoes. Change is inevitable. Yeah. You, that's one thing. You can change a lot of things. True. You can't change change. Change is coming mm -hmm. oh, yeah. at, at a high rate right now. I mean, like, if y'all have y'all paid attention how fast the weeks are going? Mm-hmm. In time, this shit's like kind of like scary. Like mm -hmm. as soon as you could be talking to, to somebody on Sunday night, mm -hmm. like, oh my God, are you ready to start the week? And here's Thursday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This here's week's Thursday. Been by, this week been by hella quick. Yeah, it did go and fast. and it goes to do with your mental perspective. Remember, as a kid, you you couldn't wait to play. Right. So the day seemed long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You was in class. You, you, you could play six days a week. It, 
Mm-hmm. God willing, yeah. you know, if you could. Your mindset you was on, with. I need to play. Mm-hmm. I want to go, go out outside. and run the streets and do hood rat shit with my friends. <laughs> right? You know, I want to go out and do something. You looking at the clock like... I want to be mysterious. Two thirty, hurry time. up, so I can go home and do yeah. this homework. <laughs> put on my, up. get out my school clothes, put on my play clothes, and go run through the creek. Go, ha- go run go from Billy Do. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to the clubhouse. <laughs> you know, that's you know. Back then, now as an adult, you work, you 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 spend so much time on worrying about. I you need to make sure you leave home. everything is in place. Well, it's most people, some people don't care. You're right. Yeah, but <laughs> it's more of. I need to make sure everything's done. I need to have this put away for, you know, 65 when I get to collect Social Security. I need to have this money done. I need to have this put away. Mm-hmm. You're so focused on some other shit to where you're like, where the fuck the time going? Damn, I, I, I'm going to do this tomorrow. Next thing you know, it's two weeks from now. It's two weeks later. And you know the coldest part? We still, uh, a nigga still got to make sure that they, 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 they got uh, clothes washed. You know, food cooked, mm-hmm. you know, uh, bills paid, be responsible. Yeah. This adult shit is overrated. It, yeah. And yes. don't get me wrong, damn. Mm-hmm. Woo, I wouldn't want to be a young person in this era. Like oh. 2020. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry. I hope my family ain't listening to you, is it? No, you hear me? Go ahead and curse and all the above. Um, he curses. But I grew up in the mid 90s. You know, and, and I'm talking about my, 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 my late teens and my 20s. The early 2000s, it was a, a, the greatest time in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yeah. AIDS wasn't really on the on the deck. You know, all that. It, right, right. Like the motherfuckers could actually get affirmative action was just starting. You know, I mean, like, man, it was it was great. And today... I mean, we're watching, we're watching so much bullshit on the news alone. Because I'm we, sorry, I can't watch the news. The news to me is addictive, like a uh, but, 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 but yeah, it's, it's a depression it's, it's, magnet. It's, it's, addic- it's addictive, like a sickness. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, everybody wants to watch a train wreck. Yeah, and you're watching a long ass train wreck. Mm-hmm. Like the the train wreck has different spaces. Like one minute is real damage, then it's. You know, uh, you know, it's cataclysmic damage, and then it's casualty damage. And, and you know, it, it sets it's not the really always you. being the same, but it's keeping you watching, keeping you waiting for the real deal. Keeps explosion. you living in fear. Yeah, exactly. Keeps you living in fear. It's scary, man. And it's it's very rare now. The news, the, you know, the, the people that control all this stuff. You know, they know what they're doing, and once they see that, oh, damn, they they starting to wake up. We got to appease them, so let me get them some breadcrumbs. So now you get the little feel-good stories on the news. They'll be like, in tonight's segment of Channel Blah, Blah, Blah blah, News, the community of such and such, you know, this person, this kid is raised fifty million for his little league and they're honoring him by giving him tickets to a Giants game. It basically takes a focus off certain things too. Right. Like oh, yeah. if something happened with someone that's African American and plus we only get like maybe five seconds of someone being African American showing what's going on and then it goes to something else. Oh yeah, and then they get the they get the the, the the bad looking family member yeah. on the news yeah. with the exactly. amalams. Get the amalams. You know, saying Can't shit talk. all wrong. Yeah. No what y'all team. mean? You what you what what that is, bro? Yeah, you know, I seen what happened because I was you know I was getting me some sandwiches and yeah. Uh, so me what and, happened? Me and, me and Bobby Ray. <laughs> it's just yeah, you know, the news. I I don't watch the news often. Me neither. Just because for those things that you just said, basically named. You know, I watch it sometimes, but it's not a staple. And it's always the same stuff on every channel. Everybody's covering the same thing, and then they play it over and over. And okay, we just saw that like twenty minutes ago. Can you yes. know something else? Repetitive. You, it's the cycle. It's consistency. Fox it's, News is racist. Of course. I mean, it's the same thing with consistency. Same way when you wonder how ugly dudes get good-looking chicks. <laughs> They're consistent, motherfucker. Yes. He, you make a chick laugh, you got a shot. You can cook. You got, got a, a shot. shot. Yep. Consistency. If they consistently 
They're constantly showing you the same thing over and over and over and over. You're being oh, programmed yes. and trained. Even the next day, they show the same pictures. Exactly. And you, like, put something your else head. on. Subconscious, <laughs> your subconscious is so powerful, which most people don't know and they don't realize. If you, you've shown something constantly, it's boom. Now you're sleeping and you're thinking about it. So you react to certain things differently. Yeah. They got you thinking about the Sky Daddy. And now every time you see that that color you think mm -hmm. I'm submissive you know I can go on and on and on I don't want to piss too many people off I don't give a fuck but I didn't want to go into all that tonight but I'm just saying <laughs> that's okay it's all subjective and it's all subliminal uh, who else tuned in uh, Wooten what's happening Barbara thanks for tuning in uh, you know Samara what she said you work at a credit union run by Mormons your brown skin and your opinion is keeping you out of the executive office, degrees and all. Mm. Probably is. Mm -hmm. And, and sis, sis, you know, we go high back high school. You're a woman. A black woman. Yeah, you're a black woman. So, yeah, you guys are the smartest creatures on the planet. But they're not going to tell you that. Nope. You know, the black, the melanated woman is God. We, you know, it's not up for debate. So... What's up, Renee? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, the melanated woman is God. Don't argue with me. Fight me. You know what? <laughs> since, since you say that, uh, one of our old episodes, we was talking about the five reasons uh, to get out the house for the COVID. Oh, but, yeah. But now that we have a female guest, uh, co-host, I want to know, what's the first five things females are going to do when they get out, out, out of the, out of the uh, shelter in? Um, well, for me... <laughs> I'm gonna. I miss going to church, so I'm gonna go to church. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna hit the salon. Mm -hmm. My nails, <laughs> pedicure, hair, everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then continue to focus on what's more important um, for my future. Um, I want to have my own business, so I've been since we've been quarantined. I've been like. Um, focusing so, focusing on what's more, uh, excuse me, what's important, like um, how to get a business started, mm -hmm. um, just catching up on things that I've already been doing for you know me. Okay. Um, I don't know about any uh, you know anyone else, but um, just continue to just be practice. Um, I guess what is it? Being healthy, wearing gloves. Is that a full five thing? Uh, give me a, give me another give, give me another good one. Um, I am on a game show. Yeah. Okay. So in the house quarantine game show that's on Facebook Live. Continue to that. focus on that. Just continue to do. I don't know what's more important. Um, my job. Mm -hmm. Um, just. So Rio. Doing that. Yeah, that's what's up. So y'all tune. Samara says she going to the casino. <laughs> okay, so you so you gonna see tomorrow? You gonna be one of the Make first some money. ones. But see, I still yeah, I don't want to be around. Still be around like Running, a bunch you gonna of go play bingo? Y'all better get smart. <laughs> Somebody else should uh, know, women. Like, all the women that's watching. You, all what are how you many of y'all? What's the five things y'all would do after this quarantine is over? Well, I want to hear from y'all, and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give y'all my my hood answers. What I think some of y'all gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean none of y'all that I know. I just mean in general. I'm gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants, even if it's by myself. I'm gonna go. I'm oh, that's, to yeah, that's Treat good. myself to one of my best restaurants or whatever. I wanna go ahead and enjoy. Maybe sitting by by some water or something, eating, mm -hmm. eating a meal. That sounds nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what really hurt my heart? All of the snow resorts closed, and I'm a snowboarder. Oh, oh yeah. are you? Yeah. So. Hope you know, like they all close indefinitely mm -hmm. for the season. Oh, so yeah. hopefully by next season yeah, we have some snow. We we'll go do some snowboarding. Um, but that's that's a little ways away. Uh, real spit. Yeah. I'm gonna have a party. Yes, I'm gonna are. throw. I'm gonna throw one of the biggest motherfucking parties <laughs> ever <laughs> I have ever had in my motherfucking life. We and I'm just gonna keep it 100, though. Party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got my nigga over here on board. We you know what I'm saying? I might have a pimp like here on board. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a, it, it's gonna be so motherfucking lit. I'm just gonna Man. keep it 100. 
I'm gonna make sure now, we now have I'm gonna make this sure, after, yeah, yeah. after it, you it motherfuckers that want to do as dumb shit. We're gonna let y'all go out and do dumb shit first. And then get re-sick and be in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, and we put y'all, they put y'all away, then we gonna party. <laughs> when it, whenever it happens, it will be a month or so after the lift. We happens. gonna party. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm gonna throw the lightest motherfucking shit I ever did in my life. Okay. And, you know, I want y'all, everybody to come on out. I want y'all to enjoy. Baby. Everybody that missed their birthdays. Yes. Everybody that missed the everybody concerts missed that you birthdays. paid for and Mr. couldn't get your refunds. You know, I'm, oh, I got reservations. And the place said, well, they're gonna change the date. You can't get your money back. <laughs> oh, man. <sucks. laughs> what the We're fuck? probably Facebook Live and shit. We well, just yeah. gonna change the date. Nigga, you can't get this money back. Shit. It's all Nigga, bad. we need this. Ain't nobody yeah, standing so in right now. That's so bad. That's terrible. Shit. To, to, here goes some of my things I think some of the women. Because women, hold on, let me see who turned it. And all serious. You want to get your feet done? Okay. Spend time with your grandkids. Okay. Do some cake baking. Rio says she's going to hit the racetrack. So you're going to get gambling. See, exactly. And you should know gambling is taking such a big hit that it, it ain't going to be no winners for a minute. So you're going to give some money away. Okay, that's fine. If you want to give money away, I can drive by and you can just put it in my hand all day. So what I think some women going to do that's been after this is over with, of course they're going to go get the nail salon done, the hair done, the spa treatment, the exfoliation, and all that. So. But the ones who ain't been getting no quarantine vitamin D, that's what y'all finna do. Don't lie. I know it. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. They don't go out. They've been or they've been trapped up with the dude who don't do it right. And now they got that free time to go. I said it. I'm just, I'm just joking, but I'm just serious. Yeah, they can. Mm -hmm. I've seen some of the. Funniest. I'm gonna go shopping after work, baby. Mm -hmm. okay. Motherfucker, you went shopping yesterday. You just got the shit in the trunk. I, I you got some money. Whole ass shit, motherfucker. They gonna, gonna be get some of them. Hey, stranger, Texas. <laughs> Hey, big ass. Hey, stranger. Yeah. <laughs> Quarantine over, motherfucker. Hey, you big shit. Shit. I've been waiting, Texas. motherfucker. I just, freshly waxed. Oh, I just got popped off. <laughs> Fresh. 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 Freshly waxed. What's hey, up, look, Gene? Hey, I'm look, saying. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, they finna do that. I got, I got a, tech, I, I got a uh, uh, post look, that says. If, well, no, no, this is, well, this is a post, not, not from the group, oh. but uh, this is on Facebook. If you suck balls and give head, Ooh. does that make you a ball head bitch? <laughs> And a touche to that was, if you eat pussy and look ass, does that make you a pussy ass nigga? <laughs> so, I mean, like, I'm thinking, like, I've seen some shit like this, and nigga, you know, a motherfucker might really be, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, knee deep in, 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 in the mouth game. The mouth game might be really working right now for the uh, for the house to keep peace. You know what you're doing. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. motherfuckers say, oh, you know, I don't feel like going here and sticking. Keep you know, them you, toes, you girl. You get my motherfucking nerves. But I go ahead and just, you know, give you a little sample to go ahead and shut you up and send you uh, in the bed. Make but at the same time, it, nobody has been on. getting waxing. Unless they do it themselves. Get, uh, hey, I heard that you can get wax stuff sent home fool. like yeah. to the house. You can get a wax kit sent no, to your, your own home. I have wax and stuff at home, but... Yeah, you shave? Mm. Yeah. Nah. Mm. What not? No. Mm -hmm. As long as it's for the bikini zone. Because yeah. you don't want to just put nair on there and then... Mm. Be all infected. Well, <laughs> Broke shit. out. Your shit on, your shit on time <laughs> off. Your shit on a whole other quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, uh, I broke my shit. <laughs> Shit. They, they shit. Hey, you just think you ain't doing that shit. Look, look, look. And the week got the shit over with, they like, I'm ready to do this shit. Be like, nah. Um, we, 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 we all bad, motherfucker. They be like, my shit need 10 we feet. Hurt. Fuck the six <laughs> feet. <laughs> my shit need 10 feet. We hurt. No hands. You can't do nothing. No hands, no, no, hands, no, no breath. You got nails, dirty No hands, no breath. Keep your hands away from me. <laughs> right. Ooh, you got to cut the nails, nigga. You want to yeah, cut hey, the nails. Brother, fellas, fellas, do your nails. Please. Hey, you know, women don't again, like nails. Once again, not on you. Or they hot like ass, them on them. Or hot ass breath. If, yeah, if. keep your shit. Keep your shit under wraps. This is a good time to like practice like dental hygiene. And too. And, and ooh, speaking of, because remember what I said before, because I, I just went to the grocery store the other day. Um, and I seen 
Rio, you said you really need a wax. Oh, okay, I got a weed. I just got a weed whacker from uh, oh. Home Depot. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. No bueno. Don't I'm do just it. fucking with you, fam. Don't do it. But- <laughs> Don't do it. Hey, I was in the uh, in the grocery store and the toothbrush, the toothpaste aisle, the the body wash aisle, flowing, plenty. Mm. It's about time. Y'all, y'all, y'all. y'all Took all the toilet paper, but y'all didn't take all the right shit. See, no. I was just gonna say that. No, I've said it before. Y'all be taking the wrong shit. Meat is gone too. Ain't no more meat. I'm getting ready to be in a meat shortage. Well, grow your own food. Now, hey, speaking of, yeah, I just got me some new plants for planting a watermelon plant. I got uh, some tomatoes I'm finna grow, some peppers. Cause I got some, you know, my backyard, I got some, some greens. To plant. I might plant some greens. I ain't got those yet, but oh, I'm a, I'm finna plant some shit, get healthy. But uh, who else tuning in? Uh, Rio said, well, "It'll be a while before you go to the salon and get a wax." Yeah, you don't want to trust them just coming out. You you don't want to be the, the crash test dummy on you know people getting out of quarantine and running in to go get them nail fills and the body wax. You get them wax on, wax off, and they rip your shit off. Mm. Hey, 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 how, how many, how many uh? Brothers rocking the BBBs and need to go oh, hit that bar. Dude. You know what hey, I, I love my brother. You know, I want my I brothers to ball, win. I got the ball. But I'm I can, I can cut my own hair. right now that's looking like, nigga, but you beard, don't need to do the beard challenge. To, don't do the beard challenge, nigga. <laughs> yeah, if your shit don't connect after this quarantine, kill yourself. Yeah. Right. Don't it, do it. In, 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 in she the laughing at nigga. you. Gray hair. The she challenge is great. It's not your challenge. Yeah, but they got dudes that's dying them. Oh, no, you that never. Oh, man, you false advertising. Once again, yeah. this is a privilege. It's not your challenge. Mm. It's not your challenge. Let it go. Yeah. You know? It's, I mean, hell, I ain't going to even lie. Shit, nigga, my, my shit don't connect, but I can go ahead and write this little shit. I can go ahead and write a little shit. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. I, it you, you know, as, as it was said on the 40-year-old version, you got to premeditate this shit. You know? You got to right. work on Actually, this shit. Actually, I'm going to give y'all half a bit of game. You want your beard to connect? You need to get the ne- eat the nectar of the gods. Change your father, cause <laughs> nigga, I got it from my daddy. My daddy, <laughs> his your, shit didn't. You want that shit to grow? So you gotta get son, the nectar I'm of the gods. Give it to you too. Get your beard conditioned. Oh That's gosh. what you need to be doing. Get that natural beard conditioner. Massage it or stimulate yeah. it or something. Yeah. That natural beard conditioner for the melanated woman. And also go ahead <laughs> and, and and get you some egg. Go ahead and, yeah. and, and beat that shit, <laughs> and then rub it on your cheek. Mayonnaise. Just, just no, no. Well, okay. Throw some mayonnaise in. Stick just your chin rub in it on the your dirt. cheek. Let it, let it sink on in. <laughs> you know, and stick your chin <laughs> in the dirt and water it. <laughs> give, give, give it, give it a day or two. <laughs> give it a day or two. Right. Lather that shit. All you right. know. <laughs> we were fucking with y'all. Uh, you know, once again, and if it don't work, nigga, keep trying. Uh, but yeah, stick your shit in the dirt and water it. Yo, if your beard ain't growing shit. after this quarantine, don't don't grow it, dude. Just don't get the false shit in. L I G, nigga, let it go. What's you that go. miracle grow that they use on plants? Let that it go. Ain't work, man. Like, like do a chia yeah. on your oh, chin. Don't do it. Do a chia pet on your chin. Don't do it. But now we finna get ready to tune it out. You know, it's going on seven fifteen. Got other shit to do tonight, Friday. You know. Uh I wanna thank y'all for coming on tonight once again. My uh, stream guests, let them know your name and where they can find you at in social media. Candace, I'm um, on Instagram at Beautiful Brown. Boom. Oh. Boom. And it's B E Y O U. B U. Beautiful Brown. See, there it is. On Instagram. Uh, you know, I'm J Hugh in the building. You know, uh, just just trying to uh, enjoy the ambiance. You know, a, a town native. Yeah. You know, uh, but let me give a couple of shout outs, man, Regular for show. for some people, you know, looking for some good food on the weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, wise choice. That's Y with apostrophe S and choice. You can get some good crab. God damn this motherfucker. <laughs> God damn ass. You can get some good crab, garlic noodles. Uh, also, mm. the, um, oh my God, I'm, I'm getting old. Shit, son of a bitch. Hold on. <laughs> uh. Chef's wife. Oh, Chef Lord. Wise. No, no, not Chef's wife. Chef. Uh, no, nigga, no. Hold up, hold up. Uh, the busy, check. the busy wife's personal chef and catering. Okay. Um, you know, 
another good choice if you want some good cooking. And actually, the busy wife's personal chef does the weeks. She she cooks during the week, so I mean I think that's pretty awesome. We should you have know. her on the show. It's you should, bro. You should, up. and huh? you should also has have, have okay, wise hey, choice hey. on the show, man. Okay, we're gonna hook that up. Hook up some of these so, local businesses, man. Well, you know that's, that's how the that, show that's started. That's maintaining, man. We, we, we talked about businesses, but uh, I was up, Marcus, tuning in, man. We about to we about to tune out, bro. I miss baseball season, man. We got we got man, it's, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, y'all, you know, uh, thank y'all for tuning in as usual. Kayak Professionals, I'm your host, Deshaun, here at uh, Where Media Meet Studios, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. VJTV yes, sir, Network, yes, Feral Films, you know, my boy The Incredible Drop Knock also. I gotta get drop on the show, too. But uh, thank y'all, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the love. Like, share, you know, the page, Kayak Confessionals, you know, tune in. Next week, I got a guest coming in. Rodney, what's happening, man? He's MC in. Square Podcast in the building. Rod, you super late, bro. I'm, I'm bouncing out, man. Hey, we got to link up. Uh, two weeks or so. Let's do that. So we can do the, yeah, you know, cross-pollination. But all right, so until uh, uh, next week, I have my folks Ronnie on the show. With, you know, her podcast is uh, Men Lie, Women Don't. Uh-oh. Uh, she on the show next week. Sign some bullshit. You know, we're going we gonna to chop back and uh, swallow, talk shit and swallow spit. But uh, once again, appreciate everybody tuning in. Make sure y'all stay safe. Wear your mask. Get your hand sanitizer. And, That's uh, right. Wear your mask, y'all. Fuck them two dudes in Georgia that killed that dude. Exactly. Fuck them for real. Bitch. <laughs>